on May 16th, Doha Airport had an unexpected guest, an Emirati prince seeking asylum, according to a report recently published by the New York Times. The prince, Sheikh Rashid bin Hamad al Shargi, claimed he ran his life after a dispute with the rulers of Abu Dhabi, the dominating city-state in the United Arab Emirates. Sheikh Rashid's defection to Qatar reveals tensions among the Emirati rulers. According to David B. Roberts, a professor at King College London, it is rare for such elite politics to spill out so publicly in the UAE. This is the first time in history of the UAE that a prince has publicly criticized its rulers. Sheikh Rashid has accused the monarchy of blackmail and money laundering, although he's provided no evidence for his claim. According to the prince, tensions are running high among the Emirates, especially over Abu Dhabi's leadership of the UAE's military intervention in Yemen. Sheikh Rashid said that Abu Dhabi did not consult the other six Emiratis before dispatching troops to the war. And now the six Emiratis have to bear the brunt. So all these kingdoms are starting to ask questions that we have, we have committed this many soldiers. Where are our soldiers? And the soldiers are nowhere to be seen. Um, you know, they haven't come back home, they are not accounted for, so what do you do now? So, uh, you know, this this is definitely, for sure, created a tension which is beneath the surface, which we don't see until um, Sheikh Rashid bin Hamdan, Hamdan al-Sharki um, actually fled uh, for Jaira to, for Qatar. No doubt that trouble is brewing in the UAE as the young prince is threatening its rulers with even more disclosures. The leaders of the other emirates have complained, though privately, about Abu Dhabi's dominance of the UAE and its foreign policy. Abu Dhabi is the richest kingdom in the United Arab Emirates. Abu Dhabi is the one that bailed out Dubai uh, when they were in, in a really bad recession. And Dubai is still yet coming out of it, uh, but Abu Dhabi has got oodles of money. And since they do, then, you know, they, they actually rule the roost. So they rule the seven kingdoms, so to speak, unofficially. And, and they have basically done what, what, you know, they thought was right. By dragging other emirates into the war on Yemen, Abu Dhabi has tried to pursue its ambitions in the region, one of them taking over Socotra, an island which is officially part of Yemen, with a great geopolitical importance. If they do manage to take the Socotra Islands, I don't think these little kingdoms are going to get anything out of it. I think they are, you know, just going to bear the brunt of it and then that's going to be it. Uh, there is there is no way they're going to get any kind of compensation. There's no way they're going to get any kind of anything. By fleeing from the UAE, Sheikh Rashid has opened a Pandora's box of doubts and questions about the monarchy's conducts while trying to cast light on its shadowy corners.